my question to y'all is, do y'all think it's okay to, to date like a corny guy? Or how do y'all feel about dating corny men? Tokyo Faces is tripping me out with every question. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm ready to hear what you got to say every time. <laughs> like, would y'all date a corny guy? Be joined had been the, the the media for the past few weeks mm. about being corny, and it all happened on the red carpet of his Creed three, you know, movie premiere. And if y'all have not seen Creed three, I would encourage y'all to go see it because I ain't seen it yet. No, spoilers. Michael B. Jordan and uh, Jonathan Majors they were giving body, body, body. Okay, but anyway, mm. they were on the red carpet, and he was on an interview with one of his old high school um, classmates. And in high school, he was being called corny and lame because he was a you know a drama person, an actor. He used to bring his photo you know headshots yeah. to the class, mm -hmm. and so he was like, "Oh, who corny now? Who corny?" And so everybody chimed in. We're going in on him on the comments saying that he was lame and corny for addressing um, L'Oreal that mm -hmm. way. And even um, Joe, Bi Joe, Button. Joe Button has said the same thing. Right. So my question to y'all is, do y'all think it's okay to, to date like a corny guy? Or how do y'all feel about dating corny men? Tokyo Faces is, is tripping me out with every question. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm ready to hear what you got to say every time. <laughs> like, would y'all date a corny guy? Honestly, no, he will irritate me. Why? Wait, what's your definition? The corny, corny. yeah. Let me think. What, what, yeah, when that's you a say good corny, that's, What's like a definition? Yeah, yeah, that's a corny. good one. You know, a corny eyes. guy is someone who says like lame little corny jokes. Um, well, just you know, just if he had, corny, if he, he don't have like that. That ball. He gotta ball, have you know? a whole bunch of other areas that are good that I like. I personally, I because men be silly and corny, a little nerdy, not corny, but nerdy. I like nerdy okay. niggas. I like niggas that play video games. I want you to go from work to gym to the house. You know what I'm saying? That's what oh, I you like. would have loved my husband. I give you his that's, number. That's what I like. Well, I, got, I got a man, girl. He girl. good too, girl. He good. He good one. I give you the number. But when I think of corny, Damn. I think of <laughs> niggas who do like rude shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's lame. Like, for instance, I know one guy. He got a whole lot of money. Multi-millionaire. You know what I'm saying? But he was, like, on live one time getting some head. I'm like, you can't enjoy the head? You got to put it on live? That's, that's, that's corny. corny to me. Ooh. That is so that corny. corny. You don't what you see it as. How do you go on it's live and get lame. in? Lame and corny is two different categories. But that's what I think. Corny to me is, like, weird and lame. I want to know so how do you give head on live and keep your page because i would have been getting some <laughs> he probably he ain't got that many followers he ain't got that many followers oh okay anybody check right <laughs> you said tell me <laughs> shit but i think i will i mean corny yeah i don't do corny i would do lame but corny kind of like comes off as like you just too corny like you do corny shit like so what's your definition of corny versus lame? Because you said you would do lame. What's lame? Lame would be what your example was. Like okay, nerdy. So what's corny? Yeah. Corny would be what Michael B. Jordan did. A address something yeah. that's over a decade ago and yeah, you like are a list celebrity. Me Girl, two decades oh. ago, probably. That's corny. Oh. Yeah. He dressed at a high school. Like, that's corny. Well, he's not cute to me. And he's an Michael average celebrity. He's not cute to me. I don't find Really? Him. He ain't, he ain't never cute to me. Oh, I he think got, like, he got a nice I'm body. Not, he, yeah, but his face. When I look at him, I don't be like, Damn. yeah, he don't do it for like, me. No. He's too light skin for me. I'm giving damn. I'm giving damn. Damn. You gotta have some dark skin, baby. But for me, I, like like, I don't mind a corny guy. Yeah, he wouldn't be my mind. first, you know, person. But I think that a corny guy would be all about me. Yeah. That's what I think. And when I think corny, and you would yeah, pacify yeah. his corniness. I would. I know. <laughs> if he liked you, I'd be like, well, babe, you need to chill out. I need you to chill out. You can mold the man the way you want him to be. Like, if it's too much, I feel like I don't like that. Right. And he might just chill out a little bit. Okay. Unless, unless he, he really is corny. Unless, unless, he, unless he really is corny. Yeah. Hey, guys, <laughs> tell your friends to come through. He's going to be himself. And no, ain't no woman going to tame nothing. He's going to be himself, and it is corny. But if he if he my man, then I'm going to ride with my man. Yeah. If he your man, your man. Stick beside him. I'm going to stick beside him, girl. You guys, make sure you tell your friends to subscribe to this station. 
Yeah, Thank you. Subscribe. And you subscribe. all can, can you and you food. guys can tip. Can they tip you guys? Yes, they can tip. Tell they them how they send, can tip. They can send a super chat. Oh. Mm-hmm. Great. And if you're watching on Facebook, you can send a star. That's Thank you, you so much, guys. We really appreciate you guys what do you for your support. What did uh, Ash Danny Jack say? Michael B. Jordan is overrated, but everybody fantasized about him. What that say? Rubbing about success rubbing? in somebody's face who shaded your dreams. Hmm. But it was over a decade ago. I think that everybody is different from high school. You know, of course. But I don't know. When I look at the video of him with the girl on the, on the red carpet and him saying that, I feel like he must have had a crush on her or something. Like, I feel like he must have liked her. And because I mean, he throwing it back in her face. To, exactly. For that to still hurt you now today, like, you know, she had to be memorable. But you got to remember, men are weak. <laughs> in what way? Elaborate. <laughs> we got men in the background. We got They're the weak. audience. Don't hype them up. <laughs> They're weak for almost anything. They weak for some for vagina. They, they, that too, but some can be strong. They can't pass that by. It's the other stuff too. Mm -hmm. They're weak for everything. They weak. They they suckers, but they gotta be made strong. Mm. Yeah, cause every dude is gonna cheat. He has 120 million sperm cells. We have one yes, egg. We, do. we, we have every guy. Oh, yes. We ask that question. So every so so from that, and there's their little testosterone and all of that other stuff going on. It does something to their brain cells and make them do um, unreliable shit. Yeah, like cheat. What you looking at, bro? So you think every man in their lifetime is going to cheat? Oh, do, every do man you, is going to cheat in their lifetime, thing. but they will, they'll chill out once they get who they want and they, they secure. Men are not secure. These men over here right now, all of them, <laughs> all of those guys over there, every last one, yeah, all of y'all, if, if, no, I'm just saying, Rick, this is a grown up conversation. Right. This is real conversation right here. If any of these men in here or on this live have been molested as a kid or something, and they tell their woman, and they know that their woman is a loud mouth, mm -hmm. he's not going to tell her shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's not going to yeah. tell her because guess what? You're going to throw it back at him. Yeah, yeah that's you know? true. You so, vulnerable. Right. So a lot of men hold things back, and this is what makes them weak, you know, because you. Yeah, you have to you have to be and say and do everything up front. Men don't do that. We do it. We be like, yeah, we had four boyfriends. We had two condos. I got four babies. What do you hear from them? Nothing. Yeah, Nothing. Yeah. They be like, yeah, I hung out with the niggas on D Street. That's it. Yeah, I, I had two jobs. You feel me? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do men ever stop cheating? Says Ash. Yes. When they get into their heart and mind, and this is where I want to be, when they finished all their fulfillment, they're men. And that's you why so engagement is How do you is know? Would like, you accept it? Huh? Like, if, you're, if a man cheats on you, would you accept it? No, I don't. No, I don't. Y'all should. No. You got to uh, watch no. the uh, Real Life Street Stars interview with yes. Miss Tokyo Tony, because she tells all she about it. All. What she it was, is and ain't going to take. Okay. How, <laughs> what it's going to be and what it ain't going to be. Yeah, yeah. But, and, but as far as men, you can't... Um, you can't trust them. <laughs> oh, wait, what? You the can't. bottom line is they cannot you be trusted. You can't trust them 100%. No, I feel you. No, like, you, can't no. Trust, you can't trust them at all until they've proven loyalty. To you. You can't trust nobody. You can't even trust yourself. That's okay? true, but we men. Eat but we men. Eat. You we don't work out like we should. Until they show. Till it, actually, it's sad, but women have to show them first because they're the sad ones and the sorry ones in the sense of you have to show them that you're loyal, that you're not going to cheat. You didn't give them all these stories and you done fucked all these niggas and this and that. And then they'll start to open up. Mm. Other than that, these dudes they be, they yeah. be. And they, they will. They do. And the moment they don't answer the phone, you be like, oh, it's okay. No, bitch, he fucking. Believe that. Mm. Believe that. I ain't get this old and have all the others for nothing. Well, if you, if any lady on the here want to know how to find out your man cheat, let me know. I got you. <laughs> When he don't answer the phone, he fucking ladies. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't lie. Um, I don't want to give too much. But during the interview, you know, you kind of express just how you are so quick to move on. Yeah. And I really, really love and respect that about you because that's how I feel. Like yeah. I, sh I feel like I don't feel like a lot of women be like, oh, I married this person. Let me work it out through whatever. Like, I don't feel like that. No. I no. feel like I don't ever want to be in a position to where like, 
I have to compromise my happiness. You know, mm -hmm. like, I don't want right. to feel like I have to stay with you. In the back of my mind, I know I shouldn't Should be with be. you. And I know you right. have, and you and have to. And I just love that. Like, yeah, yeah they need it. But but That's even awesome. but even more. Because um, these niggas gonna keep coming. Yeah, but even more well, than that, it's not even. Yeah, I wouldn't okay. say it's compromising your happiness. It's the fact for me. It's the fact that another bitch can say you fuck my man, and it's my husband. You can't the do that. Disrespect. Like you, you can't do that. Right. The you can't do that. And she walked past you. <laughs> or what if you don't know? It might be the bitch upstairs. You know, hey, Brenda. Hey, girl, with your kids. And everything. Just and like on BMF, I believe that everybody, her everybody her they pot. need to have a law that everybody take a, a lie detector test before you get married. Oh, pay for it. Now I want to know what you did. <laughs> what you mean? What would be the question you you want on a lie detector? Like oh, two. one, have you ever been with a man? Oh, that's, oh, a, yeah, good that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. And, <laughs> are, <laughs> and next, are you a pedophile? <clears throat> That's, That's a good a one. one. Anything after that, we can work with it. You didn't drop the gym. So what? Real talk. So if a man say he been with a man, you not gonna you will, you will leave him if you like loved everything else about um, him. I would leave some hair from his home, but one time in college, you you ain't. This is the deal. I would burn his ass up with the pockets, cause I'm gonna leave you, but I'm gonna get myself together first. But there are different levels of sexuality. Like what? There's a scale. Like what? There's a scale. It's I want to hear this shit. It's called the Alfred Kinsey scale of okay. sexuality. Okay? okay. It goes from zero to six. So zero is like asexual. I mean, you ain't really interested. But a one, okay, a one on the scale is the person that been straight their whole life. Maybe you thought about it one time. Maybe you tried it one time. So you're predominantly heterosexual, incidentally homosexual. A two, I'm a two on the scale. That means you've been heterosexual your whole life. Maybe you have crossed over once, twice, three times, but I cannot date a person of the same sex. I cannot marry a person of the same yeah. sex. I just play around sometimes, every now and then. You know what I'm saying? And then a three is like equally bisexual. Like you would, mm. you know, give, you would date a man or a woman. You would marry a man. And then it goes the opposite way back down. So there are different levels of sexuality. Well, let me admit, I had one that admitted to me, and I stayed okay. with him. You didn't get, what, mm -hmm. what was the story? Like, was it a long time ago? Um, it wasn't all, it was maybe about six years. He was tricked by a tranny. Oh, he was right. tricked by a oh, tranny. Okay. Well, it, it do count. It what do count. I'm going to tell you why it took, do count, because you're supposed to say that in the beginning. But that's not the his fault. Part, that was not his fault. That's the other person's yeah, fault. Yeah, that's not his fault. No, 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 no. You got to say it. Why would you say it now? You talking about when y'all got together. Listen, you was, you accident. well, you thought it was a girl. And you hit that. And yes. you hit it again. Okay, two times. That's it. Okay. Two times. Now you give me, I asked you if you ever did it. You say no. Mm. Later on, you're mm -hmm. like, well, one of them times I was around. Well, maybe that's but, his uh, and I I didn't know that was a boy. Yeah. 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 I was ready like, to be like that with you then. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I mean, and that's why your ass, yeah. Eventually. But in my yeah. mind, like with the whole um, transsexual thing, I feel like if you have sex with them, ain't no way you can't not know. <laughs> no, you can't know when they're giving you head, boo. Oh, but he said he hit it. But you fucking it in the ass. How you know? You girl, you, you must never fucked in the ass. <laughs> she don't. <must> <laughs> I ain't, I ain't fucked in the ass. Lady, but, Nikki, but can, I watch a lot of porn. And the Let pussy me, like, is right by the ass. Let if me it explain. Ain't no pussy, listen, baby. If it listen, ain't no pussy. Listen, there is. Listen, there's but one hole. When a man do this, he's not feeling, when he feeling it's starting that's to go true. in, he's that just going to do this, I can and see that's it. the part that's going in, <laughs> and he's going to keep going. Mm -hmm. I ain't buying it. Because y'all yes. have had yeah. sex before, and he made a mistake in. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's fine. Right. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. But, but, but when you off the drinks, sex somebody, off the drinks, off you, the club, you off the late night, off the angry, off the off your girlfriend mad, you at the spot, you and the don't come up, hi, baby. you like, hey, I just want to do, okay, go ahead, come on. Okay, my girl, I'm going home after this. Like, no, I, I, want, I want it from the back today. You just go, you and turn, you go, you turn, turn and, around. And what do we do know? as women? If you're a smart woman, you're going to grab him mm -hmm. and, and put, put him in. where you want him to be. Yeah, that's right. true. Don't play. Because men can tuck. You know, they can tuck and tape and yeah, pull it up and all that. They so good at it. They good at it. But if it's a home invasion, you came over, you know. Home invasion. 
You know, <laughs> it's a home invasion. If, if they caught you on the fly, like last minute, drunk, you at the say, club, club, you leaving. Okay, okay, I'm gonna bend this thing maybe, over. Maybe, maybe. Right, maybe. right. And you gotta look like us, cause if you got a little not nigga, you gotta be passable. <laughs> right, you gotta Very. be. Passable. But it's a lot of people that's passable though. Sure is. Yeah, yeah. Days, a lot of people. That Basically passable. tricked up. Shout out real street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.